So I thought I'd talk about something I run into quite a bit when I'm out doing antennas. Here in Southern Oregon, we're surrounded by a lot of mountains and trees. And sometimes I'll show up at a location where I'm just in the middle of a forest, basically. In fact, I just had a call recently from a woman, oh, a couple weeks ago. She said that somebody had already installed the antenna for her, and she wanted to know if I could do anything to improve the reception because it wasn't doing all that well. Well, what I found was when I showed up at the property, she had this huge 40-foot mast erected in the middle of the forest. And unfortunately, in this case, the gentleman that put up the antenna for her didn't know the difference between a UHF and a VHF antenna. And he had a UHF antenna when it really called for a VHF antenna. Sorry about all the ducks in the background there. Anyway, so, so I get out there and I, I'm looking up at this huge mast and the thing looked real scary and I, I was hoping she didn't expect me to put the antenna back up on the mast. And uh, what I did was I scouted around on her property with a signal meter. And what I found is that when you're in a heavily forested area, height isn't necessarily the secret. In fact, uh, I actually ended up lowering the antenna from where I originally installed it. And I got a better signal lower to the ground because of all the trees around us than I got when I was high up. So that's where having a good signal meter comes in. And this is a little something I threw together. Not my favorite meter, but it's made by um, WineGuard. And basically it's made for RVers and it puts out a, uh, actually puts out a little voltage that goes to the amplifier inside of the antenna itself. So what I'm doing with it is a little bit out of the ordinary. It's not as sensitive as my digital to analog converter, but it still comes in handy from time to time when I need something real lightweight and I want to scout around through a forest. Um, I'm going to put, go ahead and put a link to the signal meters I use in the info section. I've got another video on that. But this is just a little something I threw together here. Now, if you are in a situation where you're surrounded by a lot of trees like this, what I found is that what will he often help is to get as far away from the tree as you can be. So in this case here, if I can pull back this way, it'll often help quite a bit to pull away from the trees. The further you, the, or I should say the better the clearance you have, the better the signal usually comes in. Also, I found that sometimes moving an additional you know, 10 or 15 feet this way or to the right or to the left can make a huge difference. Radio waves do funny things, so sometimes you just want to find that sweet spot. And on the uh, job I was talking about, I did quite a bit of scouting around on her property. In fact, uh, still itching from the poison oak uh, that I ended up getting. But um, anyway, for what it's worth, I just thought I'd show a, a quick video about that because it's been an ongoing issue trying to find that perfect place to put an antenna. And as you can see here in Southern Oregon, we've got a lot of trees. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.